In this video, we are going to talk about uh, how to check conditions in a Python program. So for long, we have been doing programming in this Python console. Now we'll shift ourselves to editor. So what this editor uh, will help us in? Actually, we can write multiple line programs in this editor and run once to run the entire script. So if you write multiple lines of program, this all the lines hold together is said to be a script. Now. Uh, let's understand what can be a condition while you are programming something. So let's assume that you got a variable named as age and the value is uh, maybe 19 and you want to check if uh, the age uh, whom this age belongs to is a kid or not. So what we do is if age less than 16 and now this is how you write to check a condition if in, in normal English and uh, age less than 16 is actually the condition and the such that sign will denote the ending of the condition all right now if you press enter your cursor will move a tab space ahead of its original position what does this mean this mean if you write anything inside this uh, after this tab this all the lines will belong to this if block all right so see if it's an error if you're not properly intended and if you try to run it will show you indentation error so go back and press tab and you'll get back to the original position now if you uh, let's suppose the age is less than 16 what we'll say we'll say that the child is a kid friend you are a kid now if you try to run this it prints nothing why it did so because See, age is assigned to the value of 19 and we are checking if 19 is less than 16, which is false. It's not true. So until and unless this condition is true, we are not getting to run this code of block that is inside the if statement. Now let's have another example to understand it better. Now let's assume we have a name, maybe Google, and we have a condition if name is Google let's say first a wrong condition google print no it's not if you try uh, we haven't talked about the is keyword the is keyword is available in python you can use this keyword to check if uh, the value on its left side is equal to the value on its right side it can be used for numbers as well but in python 3 uh, after python 3 they are giving uh, giving us warning while using is for this uh, string statement now if you try to run this will get a warning but this is not an error so forget about this if you want to remove this uh, warning and you want to get rid of you can obviously try and use double equals to sign and you will get rid of this warning now look here uh, when name is equals to equals to google but name is assigned to google so it's not a equal word that's why it is not printing anything over here now if you try to check another condition now elif is used to check another condition name equal to equal to google google print yes it is let's say we have one more condition elif name equal to equals to google No. Now if you try to run this program, see, although we have three print statements in the entire program, we are printing only one. Why? Uh, the, the Python program start running from the top and when uh, the value is assigned to name as Google, it tries to check over here, is the name Google? It's not. The condition is false. It tries to check the next value then which is google and the condition becomes true that's why the print statement runs here and uh, while checking the next uh, no need to check the next statement because already we have got a true statement so uh, what if name was assigned to something that we don't have in our list so what will it do it does nothing so we have another keyword that is else to give us default value when we don't match with any of the conditions in our list so let's say uh, no, no such name 
in our list now if you try to run this so we are signed to google that's a uh, google that's why we don't get any of the condition as true hence the else statement will run and will get this no such name in our list so this is pretty much the basic of if statement in uh, python and we'll learn about this a little more when we'll be doing uh, further more programs